What's up, Burke fam? I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler review of Mighty Morphin number one. Let's go. All right, guys, like I said in the open in today's video, I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review of Mighty Morphin number one by Boom Studios, written by Ryan Parrott with art by Marco Renna. All right, guys, let's first talk about the covers. There are some amazing covers for Mighty Morphin number one. We got some awesome covers by N. Hook Lee, Ghani Montez, Young Yoon. But make sure you check out the Simple Man's Comics and the 616 Comics exclusive cover featuring art by Young Yoon. We have a trade dress limited to 1,000 copies, priced at $12.99. We have a virgin copy that is $24.99, limited to $500. You can buy a set of two for $29.99, or you can get a set of three with a virgin color hold price at $59.99. Those sets are limited to $100. All right, guys, so like I said, the art on these covers is amazing. But let's go ahead and talk about the comic book. Some things we already know going into this issue are this is the first book following Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 55, which is going to split into two books, Mighty Morphin number one and Power Rangers number one. This will be the book about the Mighty Morphin team, and it will be an Earth-bound book, and it will feature the new Green Ranger, which we still don't know who it is. The Omega Rangers will be in their own book, Power Rangers, uh, but we don't know who we're going to be fighting in this book. We kind of think it's Zed. We're unsure. We're going to be talking about that today, and uh, the Omega Rangers will be battling the Imperials in the Power Rangers number one book, and I'm going to be talking about that more next week. All right, guys, speaking of the new Green Ranger, like I said, we still don't know who it is. We got our first glimpse of this new character in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 55, which I still think it is one of the greatest interests ever for a new character in comic books. It was amazing. I'm excited about it. Um, we don't know who it is, but strong indications in the last book are seen to tell us that it's Draken. I still don't think that's who it is. But some other candidates, we have obviously Matt or Matthew Cook, maybe a new character or someone else we just haven't met already. Um, also, we'll, we will find out in this book, I will say this, we are going to find out in this book who it may or may not be. We don't get an unmasking, I will say that. But we are going to find out who it may or may not be in this book. Um, and I also, we, we still don't know when we will get an unmasking. We don't know if it'll be five issues in, 10 issues in. I'm kind of excited about waiting longer and longer and longer, adding to the mystery of this character. It's kind of exciting to try to guess about what it is, similar to Christmas. You know, we got these presents under the tree. We don't know what they are. You're kind of excited guessing, ooh, let me shake this one. Maybe this is, you know, a certain toy I want. And this one, maybe some skates I want or something. I feel like that's what they're gonna be doing and Mighty Morphin trying to keep you guessing on who the new Granger could be. They should have done that, in my opinion, with Team and T, The Last Ronin versus telling us in the first book. If you didn't uh, read it already, I'm not going to say it, but I'm just going to say you do find out in the first issue of that book. Uh, I do like that they're waiting longer to figure out who it is, and I'm excited about it. And I will say, in the last book, we did see that the new Green Ranger broke the green chaos crystal, which Zed did say in the book, I can feel the green chaos energy flowing through you. And he still destroyed the green chaos crystal. And I'm interested to see, you know, how big of a part that plays going forward with his powers and whether or not it will affect it. Um, because Grace did not seem like she really cared that he broke the green chaos crystal. Um, so, I'm excited to see what they are going to be doing going forward. Let's go ahead and talk about my non-spoiler thoughts. All right, guys, this book is written again by Ryan Parrott, who has been doing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Go Go Power Rangers. He's been, he's been writing Power Rangers for a long time. Both of these books, Mighty Morphin number one and Power Rangers number one, it comes out next week, are both written by him. And I will say that this book is just as good as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 55. I'm just loving the writing, the that uh, Ryan Parrott is doing. He's keeping you guessing. He's making you question things. The art by Marco Renna is really good. I like it a lot better than I liked. I will say I liked it a lot better than I saw from Daniele 
And also, I didn't really like the, Mo the art from Moises Hidalgo. So the art here by Marco Renna is really good. It's, in my opinion, the second best art that we're going to be seeing in the Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers line. We'll be talking more about the art next week in Power Rangers number one. But I do feel like it is a step up from what we had been seeing in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, we will, like I said earlier, we will find out kind of more about who it who it is or who it is not under the helmet of the green, new Green Ranger. We don't get an unmasking. I'm going to say that up right now. Uh, Ryan Parrott has even said so in his podcast. We don't get an unmasking, but we do get a little bit more detail about who it might be. Um, there are some new sidebar stories going forward that is kind of interesting. Um, I'm not like super excited about it, but I am excited to see, you know, like what are some things we don't know about some of these other characters other than just the Power Rangers. And I will say Zed is back and he is more frustrated, mad, pissed off, you could say, than he has been in a long time. And Billy, like we know, Billy is the only one who knows about the new Green Ranger. And that's really going to start playing a part here in a Mighty Morphin line about, you know, whether or not other people know that he knows. You know what I mean? We, we know, but all the other characters don't know. So uh, that will play a part in this issue and other issues going forward. All right, guys, so those are my spoiler-free thoughts. Let me go and talk about my expectations for Mighty Morphin number one and the whole series going forward. Um, I have pretty high expectations, honestly, for anything Power Rangers, especially following Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 55. Um, like I said earlier, in my opinion, the longer we can wait to find out who the new Green Ranger is, that would be better for the book and for fans alike to try to just get more excited, like I said, figure out the mystery. There's always something good when it comes to the mystery. The, the longer you wait, the better it is for the reveal. Like I said, I wish they would have done that with the TMNT last Ronin. Um, it will be nice to see more of a Mighty Morphin-centric story versus bouncing back between the Omega Rangers and a Mighty Morphin team. You don't know if this book is going to be following this book, you know, or what issues are following what issues. Like we had been seeing in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers line for the last 15 issues or so. This is going to break it down to just the Mighty Morphin team. Now we will get, like I said, some sidebar issues, some other things happening, but it will all be about the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which is the Earthbound team, the original five, plus Tommy, and that new Green Ranger. So I'm excited about it just being about the Mighty Morphin team. And I'm also excited, like I said, I'm a little excited to hear about more of Zordon's past and some other things that are happening that are definitely going to be playing a role in this issue and other issues going forward. All right, guys, again, my name is Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of my spoiler-free review and what things are you looking forward to in this issue. All of that and more. Again, thanks for watching. And as always, go cats, cowabunga, and it's morphin' time.